For the artists who pursue art scholarly, painting technology is a term that some of them might be familiar with. As for those of us who might not know what this term is all about, it's simply an umbrella course that touches on various aspects of visual artistry like house painting, sign writing, fine art and much more. The following artist is a student of painting technology at the Komboni Polytechnic in Gilgil, Nakuru County. Take a look at this one. From an early age, Monica Njeri grew up with supportive parents who had already noticed her talent in art and would occasionally encourage her to tap into her creative side. Well, mine is a funny story. Um, me kwangu, sisi semati nilikuwa na na jamini ati kuchora ivo, but kulingana na vinyani nilianzia, um, me nikuwa penda paint, like ku paint tu how ivo. Like so, I love to support supportive parents. No, 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 buy two paint. Apo na sema, apa panaka vibaya. So, unesa tfanya, unesa repaint. Yeah. So, apo ndo nika nika kuwa passionate na mambo na rangi. Then, so after high school, we started looking for the painting school. So, apo ndo nika nza nika pata ukutu na fanya fine art. So, kido kido go nika nza fanya fine art. Yeah. Na kulingana na mali nimeanzia na mali nimefika saizi, na zasema there is a big improvement. A school typically sharpens an individual's know-how in whatever field they choose to take on, and art study is no different. I'm a student at Komboni Polytechnic, and I'm doing painting technology. I'm doing painting technology, and I'm doing a kupaka rangi nyumba kuna fine art kuna commercial art kuna sign writing kuna spray painting kuna screen printing i mean jenga ju unaona like watu wengi kama mse aji kuchora ajai kuwa that familiar with paint nini drawing so kijipata place kama hiyo no no you have to push yourself harder na ukipata mse ana support tisha kwa hapo tu ready to help so unaona Improve, eh? For Monica, art is all about expressing her feelings and emotions, which are often dictated by her various sources of inspiration. Um, so kwa kuchora, naza jaribu ku express maybe nature, when mm, express your feeling like through art, yeah, like una. Ya enye tulifanya kwanza ilikuwa nga trapped. So, unawana huu mse ya kona a lot of hands on the face. Ngine unafanya hope. Ya. Inspiration inatoka kwa vitu zinendelea saizi. Maybe unapata kaa kuna time, kuna drought. So, unimagine the people that wanyo nakatu kana hivi. So, unawana there's that small kid there. He doesn't have food. The mom is there. So yeah, like when the mom is doing everything to help the kid, yeah, only in a, in a portrait home. Because painting technology, uh, lazimo kwenye tools, so lazimo kwenye brushes. Sa kama ni kwa ku paint hao, lazimo kwenye vitu kama easy brush za six inch, four inch, three inch to one. E, na kama ni kwa kasi kuna pia rollers nini e, na pia kama ni kuchora unahitaji sa hizo brushes za 1 2 hivyo hadi 12 with a lot of art types on her plate the artist has to be extremely strategic with how she structures and dedicates her time ni kukua na strategy eh sa kama unajua kama sasa hivi mimi najua kama unajua week point yako hiyo ndio sasa unaweka more effort kama na feel down eh nature nature art ina lifting mood ya mse sasa kama mimi napenda sana kufanya nature eh hata si nature sana but mostly napenda mambo na moons like sky hivyo unaona paint up sky and then you write some words, some encouraging words. As the number of female artists continues to rise locally, the artist implores even more women to jump on this train. 
Uh, kwangu mimi nikiona mademu akijituma kwa art inani encourage sana. Alafu inaonyesha we can do it. Mimi naweza sema usiogope kitu yote. Afadhali kujaribu kuliko kaa hapo useme oh nilishindwa na kuwa ijaribu. Afadhali ujaribu uanguke tena, ujaribu ku correct your own mistakes. Facebook Monica Njeri. Eh, TikTok at Monri66. As she steps out into the art world, we wish her nothing but the very best.